Now see, I get asked a lot what is bad about education. And I think my personal view is that if you're gonna say something is bad, you better have a good answer to what you can make it better with. How can you, as an edutech startup founder, engage audiences, educate, and build a scalable business? Tune in to see how the CEO of Stampunks is tackling these challenges on this episode of Tomorrow's Tech. I'm Ironman, and today we welcome on the show Michael Holmstrom. In leading several entrepreneurial ventures in retail, mining, and drone technologies, Michael is applying his learnings as CEO of STEM Punks. In providing immersive STEM programs for teachers and students that inspire tomorrow's innovators, Michael and his team are now scaling and pursuing international growth. So welcome, Michael. Thank you very much for having me. Let's see what STEM Punks is all about. At STEM Punks, we take all this technology and we make it understandable for kids and young adults. We have a mindset at STEM Punks which is based on innovation, creativity and entrepreneurship. And with that mindset, you become a very, very powerful problem solver. And that's what all our programs are based on and that's what we're passionate about and what we believe in. STEM education should be available for everyone. We wanted to go, we wanted to reach every student that wants to learn about it. And that's why we're passionate about it. It should be everyone. Students should be able to sit down and learn at the pace that they need to, to get an outcome. And that's what we're all about. And we call that precision curriculum. So Michael, how do you see the importance of STEM education in Australia? And what inspired you to establish STEM punks? Well, I think society as a whole has tremendous challenges ahead of itself. We look at things like political issues, we look at things like climate change, and I firmly believe that STEM education has a key role to play in solving those problems. I think when it comes to STEM punks, we founded that business way back in the day, now four years ago, to get a mindset of innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship. So what we want by that is to get kids to be able to solve the problems of tomorrow today. You know, I've spent about 15 years of my life in innovation and technology commercialization, and what I've seen is that there's no lack of ideas. What we need is people that can take those ideas and transform that to value, and that's what Stampunks is all about. That's great. So Michael, over the past four years, what are two key challenges that you face with Stampunks, and how do you manage to overcome them? So anyone doing business, they're going to realize there's a lot of challenges in doing business. I think for us, it was about establishing a new business in education. It's a very hard thing to do. It's a very conservative market. I think how we overcome those first challenges was that we employed the best possible educators that we could find. So by having teachers talking the language of teachers, we established a very good trusted brand in education. Now, recently, COVID-19, 2020, you know, challenges for everyone. I think looking back, you know, we spent a lot of time in 2019 doing a lot of classes in the classroom, in schools, and we had to transform. We had to transform the whole business into an online content provider. So I think overcoming the issues in 2020 made us a better business. We learned about video production. We learned how to stream to a global audience. And looking back, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to our business. That's amazing. What are some of the key lessons you learned co-founding Ground Probe and other entrepreneurial ventures? And how did that underpin your success so far with Stempunks? I think being part of the Ground Probe journey was an amazing thing for me. Coming out of university as a young engineer, you think you know everything, but you don't, right? You're only at the beginning of your journey. So I think Ground Probe taught me a lot about personal skills, how to grow a global business, how to relate to people, how to relate to cultures. And I think coming into what we now do with STEM punks, yes, we teach a lot of kids about coding, robotics and drones, all the beautiful STEM tools, but it's also those skills that relates to business development, trust building, communication, critical thinking, which are all key as part of your innovation journey. Very inspiring. As we now move towards a complete restructuring of global education systems, what do you deem as good and worth preserving in the Australian education context? You see, I get asked a lot what is bad about education. I think my personal view is that if you're going to say something is bad, you better have a good answer to what you can make it better with. So I think the question about education, especially around Australia and the world, is that there's a lot of things that can be improved, yes, but we see a lot of amazing good things every week. You know, we work with teachers across the world now, and there's some passionate people out there. They want to transform education and want to make the best out of what we can do with that. So I think STEM punks is part of the solution, not part of the problem. We, yes, we say there's improvements that can be made in education, but we like to be part of that solution as well. Thank you so much, Michael, for sharing your lessons and perspectives. And if you found today's episode to be really helpful, follow us across Tomorrow's Tech's LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram channels for weekly content. And do let us know in the comments below what purpose underpins your entrepreneurial venture. 
We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. And for more insights for entrepreneurs, join us next Wednesday for another episode of Tomorrow's Tech. Tomorrow's Tech, presented by 3.digital.